All right, so yeah, I'll probably be killing you guys with your own dice. That's kind of unfair. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you guys have brutalized the snake with wings. Uh, one thing you guys notice is the feathers of this thing look like they would probably be valuable in and of themselves. They look, they have like a shimmering quality to them. They're very colorful. You can see them sticking out of some lady's hat or something like that. Um, and it's obviously poisonous. <laughs> so. You just put, can you dip your arrows into it or anything? Well, we pulled a poison sack already out of the centipede. centipede. Yeah. We could probably try, but I wouldn't be shooting them. Uh, I'm a one. Simple going to try and get, get that uh, I'll poison sack. Unless other folks exactly. that enjoy mm-hmm. dealing with poison. He already has one. Yeah, the centipede one. He has uh, a poison dagger from something. That, uh, I think the creature would fight. Yeah, the... Uh, yeah, he has a uh, centipede poison sack. Yeah, I, th- I think he actually dipped it in with the broken one. Yeah, we had two, two mandibles. Yeah. And so it's like a one-shot one. poison item. Just don't roll one. Ordok <laughs> is going to uh, dip his, his axe blade into the poison. Okay, like, <laughs> like chop its head up a little bit and then like... Oh, just, come on. Let me, coat, let me harvest that sack. Ass. That's what she said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, it's already chopped up. Uh, Ordok's rune has a poisoned axe right now. What's that? You have a poisoned axe right now. And uh, we'll say that it was a D3. So it has two attacks worth of poison. Okay. So it'll it'll rub off after two successful attacks. Okay. Whatever, so you keep a note or whatever. And what does, uh, what does that do, the poison? Uh, it's just poison. Okay. I'll take care of it. Um, okay. So that takes my strength down to seven. <laughs> yeah, and it's temporarily. I take mine down to fourteen. Okay. Um, those were nine. Correct? All right. So now that the snake is no longer hiding in the drawer, <laughs> um, you guys can look in there without any uh, things biting your face or neck. Um, there are two small leather satchels, and there is a scroll case. Ooh, we'll pull the one of the satchels. Okay, that's uh, kind of heavy. Ching ching, has the coins are in there. Heavy satchel. Uh, heavier. Uh, slightly different sound, but you think there are coins in there as well. Uh, you find two hundred silver and five hundred gold pieces. All right. Quite a bit heavier. <laughs> Quite a bit heavier, yes. Both <laughs> bankers. Um, I will check out these scroll case. Okay. Um, you find several scrolls in there. You think they are of divine origin. Uh, you think they are divine spells. Um, there are three scrolls of cure serious wounds. Anybody? Uh, I've already got four. I've got four scrolls of cure serious already. I don't have any of those. So there you go. Now you got three. What are they? Three scroll of cure serious wounds. Yeah. Two d six plus two. Oh, is that what, is that what it does? Yeah. Okay. 2d6 <laughs> plus 2. I'm going to try to harvest some of these feathers in just like a sack. Um, them. They're not that hard to harvest. You just pluck them. Oh. It's right out of the wing. So there are, uh, we'll say, 40, 40 feathers. Okay. 40 serpent feathers. I don't know what you want to call them. <laughs> 40 fancy serpent feathers. Fancy serpent feathers. Flying serpent feathers. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you guys are feeling very warm, very heated. Maybe you're starting to sweat on your brow a little bit. The poison is working its way through your system. Uh, go ahead and give me another save for the poison. Here, put my chain mail up with <laughs> Actually, do, do you want to do that? I don't think about that. Blew it again. Okay. Blew it again. Uh, three more off strength. But, uh, that's all it's going to do. There's a little peek in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that my strength is four, <laughs> it's getting a lot weaker. I can't carry my stuff anymore. <laughs> Put it on the donkey. Hey, what time? What time is our meeting with the uh, goblin? Um, he just said the next day. It was very open ended. So you think the goblin is literally just gonna wait for you there all day? Well, we, we had, I thought we said same time. Oh, did you say same? Uh, yeah, I think you did actually. Yeah, okay. Same time. So I think. Yeah, whatever. I think it was evening. I think it was evening or whatever. Because we got a job. So job po- is dying. So I poisoned the seer, and uh, which one was your cleric? Nothing. Getting in. Give us a smack. 
Yeah. The worst we do before we come. Be our little spot. Yeah. So I'll see the big bad guy is, what that purple worm thing is. Get all the information out of him you can, and then. Oh, he's just a stupid goblin. <laughs> Get the three experience points for killing him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But all the other stuff could be much more important. A whole lot more. <laughs> okay, so where to next, guys? Uh, up to love room 12, right? What, what room was that? What, that was room 9? Eight. Eight. That was 8. That was 8? That was 8. No, uh, no, that was actually, that's the snake with wings. That was 9. 9, okay. Number 8 then. Oh, we have not gone to 8. All right. Okay, and 8 is another small building, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where is that at? Oh, not again. Another small little square building. Okay. Uh, the doorway is to the south. Uh, like I said, it, it is black stone with red flex and uh, gray mortar. Uh, the door is oak. I'm going to see if there's any... Um, actually, I'm going to drink a potion. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to drink uh, one of my cure lights here. No. Uh -huh. Just to make sure I have all my hit points before I... Okay, I do have all my hit points. Um, and then I'm going to search the store to see if there's any traps. Okay. Did you cure yourself nothing? Um, actually, give yourself uh, a yeah, like twenty percent bonus to your skill. Twenty percent bonus to my skill. Yeah. Um, I still didn't do it. Okay. All right. So you don't think there are any traps? Looks good to me. <laughs> Does anybody want to open this? <laughs> okay. Uh, of course. How about you roll me a D one hundred? Green high. I'm going to that, so I'm going to see if it will. Here's your own fate. 42. Make it good. 42. Make it a save. He's got a weird book back there. He's got a weird book back there. Okay. Um, you only take one point of damage, but your sex has changed. <laughs> Uh, well, I the reason I gave you the bonus is because this was very hastily put together, and uh, that's what it did. <laughs> so now you're a chick. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? Jump up and down. Didn't, uh, I didn't think you'd look that good as a lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little surprise. As a lady? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's it, was a, it was a very painless sex change. <laughs> One point damage. Knock you right inside. <laughs> Boop. Touch the doorknob again, man. <laughs> it gave you a little shock, too, I guess, as you grabbed hold of it and tried to open the door. Well, the door's open. <laughs> Close the door. Okay. Open it again. Nothing happens. <laughs> Hey, you rolled a 42, not me. <laughs> up a new line of work for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give me a mirror. Oh, there's one on a donkey. Which, which character is now a uh, female? Drunk. That's your main character. Grunkit. Right? <laughs> Grunkit. Grunka. 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 Don't call me Grunka, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, man. <laughs> you, you, you have, a, <laughs> you have a, a mind of a guy still, or but you're a chick, or what? Um, I'll let you role play that however you like to role play that. I'll give you free reign. I, I just personality of your gentleman insane. Yeah, but I may get emotional. And... <laughs> He's a big dumb fighter. Still, right, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you just the you have a sense inside. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get an emotional roller coaster once on. Can I get bonuses on. to hit and damage when I'm PMS? <laughs> We're not gonna get there. Great. Great. What the hell? Well, now I gotta sit down and pee. <laughs> well, you can just not be messy. Not practice. Alright, but your ability to aim will be severely curtailed. <laughs> Yes. I knew some of the bitches better touch me while I'm sleeping, though. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a 13 
There's, there's notes right there. there. They'll just dream it and just uh, feel awkward the next day. That's all. Yeah. I'd rather just sit on my hand until it was numb. <laughs> <laughs> Not the player. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I almost look in this room. No, it's... <laughs> um, there is, it's a dirt floor. It looks like there's something has been buried in the back corner. I'll, uh, then pull on Seer to take a look. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, looks like something was pretty hastily buried back there. Uh, it is a leather sa- like leather leather satchel. You guys are gonna have like leather satchels all over the place. <laughs> yeah, well, not just that, but I mean, trap I don't think there's any berry. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tasty yeah. berry trip too. Like a fifth thing we've this done bag done. looks like it's probably sixty years old. I made my fine move by twenty one. To to do what? I'm sorry. Fine move traps. Uh, you gonna find traps? Uh, it's clear. You, you well, open it up. It. Um, <laughs> it looks like there's emeralds inside. Ooh. Um, <laughs> uh, if anybody wants me to make a uh, roll under intelligence to figure out roughly how much they are worth. Vasilius got a one. <laughs> Vasilius has made a background. Six. Has a Simple jewelry. Made it by six. So did Methon. Holy crap. Okay. Methon <laughs> made it by one. Uh, you think there are roughly, let's see here. Uh, it's how many silver per gold? It's ten, right? Ten, yeah. yeah. So roughly 520 gold worth of emeralds. Nice. Very shiny. Much lighter. Um, everybody emeralds. give me a spot check as you're looking at the emeralds. Uh, spot. What is spot D6, again? Right? Oh, it's just a D6. Uh, Demi Human is one of two. Oh, yeah, okay. Everybody else. Nice. Get a two on my human die and a three on my Demi Human die. Okay. Two. You got it. You got a two. Yep. Okay. Um, so is that the demi human then? The yes. dwarf. Uh, so that is Ordok. Ordok sees what looks like a small humanoid trapped in one of the emeralds. <laughs> yeah, and it's a tiny little emerald. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'd appreciate being swallowed. <laughs> I don't think you'd appreciate pooping that out either. <laughs> it's not very smooth. <laughs> There's a little creature in here. Oh, what does it look like? Small humanoid. Oh yeah. Um. Let's see. You roll two. Uh. What does it look like? It looks like a human. Looks like a little human. It's like a little human. It's not. It's not moving or anything. It's just like. Oh, like. Like frozen solid in time. He's like stuck trapped. In How much is trapped that inside. Worth? Yeah. Human. No. That <laughs> I mean, if it's worth a lot of money, we don't want to do anything. Uh, like, I don't uh, know. Is it worth more with him in there? <laughs> it might be worth more. It's <laughs> kind of how they signed them. Maybe the guy that cut his emerald signed them. Yeah, you're pretty sure there's a little guy trapped inside there. Let's check all the emeralds, make sure they aren't all holding a little guy. You hold them up to light or a torch or something. Hey, this one's got a dwarf in it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just the one. Oh, man, I got a half limb. <laughs> <laughs> Those are common. <laughs> yes, the human is uncommon or rare. Yeah, maybe even ultra rare. Yes. But, All right, so, uh, so there's a, a little man in an emerald. A little man in an emerald. Pow! All right, so I'll pocket that. Okay. Yeah, we'll show that at the temple and let them see, see what they do. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably like, that's a little man in an emerald. Soul or is it <laughs> maybe? maybe. I don't Ooh. know. I'll break it. I don't know. He's breaking a breaking emerald would probably kind of hurt him. <laughs> yeah, probably. Let me use his sling bullet. Actually, I think emeralds are probably pretty hard to break, too, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Might set him free, might kill him. And we're not all Might set him free and kill him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm free and dead. Nice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Um, okay, so anything else in this room? Um, that is all that you guys saw. And now Grunk is Grunkette. <laughs> Grunka. 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 So this is uh, Russian. Okay, so... What are scoot we over to 12. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Yep. 12. What type of building is that? Okay, it's a small little building. I'll say it's 40 feet by 40 feet. And it is kind of on a little... 
small hill on the hill, it looks like. Kind of like out in the middle of nowhere there. Uh, the entrance is on the east side of the building. What do you guys do? Uh, anything special about the entrance? Um, it's, uh, it's probably just wood as well. Probably oak. Okay. Uh, I'll check the door. Make sure it's not uh, trapped here. Yeah, I beat it by 21. Okay. Um, you actually think this one is trapped. All right. Well, I'll see if I can do anything to remove this trap. Do you have any ideas on what kind of trap this might be? That's... You probably do, actually. So before you roll, let me think here. Um, what kind of trap is it? You think it's a pit trap. And the closer you look at the ground around the door, it looks like, yeah. It's going to fall right where I'm standing. You're, where you're standing, if you set okay. it off, you're going to fall through. Um, can I see the outline of where that is? It's about 10 feet by 10 foot, uh, kind of like like a half circle around the okay, door. Okay, so with, with a pole, I might be able to push the door open and we'll set the, just, um, the trap off. Yeah, it's not locked. It's just set up so if the door opens, the pit is going to fall. At that's what you think. Yeah, I'm just nervous about having to try to disable the trap and not succeeding, so I'd rather just set it off and we can figure out a way over. You have over. two poles, right? I believe well, I, so. Yeah, I've got a pole. Say, because you could take one pole, lay it across the floor, and use that to stand on as a... Kind of like a balance beam sort of thing? Yeah, and balance beam kind of deal. I, mean, I could probably reach out and, and, just... and use the other door to... So. I think... You'd have to do some like crazy dexterity thing, or and fail and then fall, or the thing like snap. I think it's since you found it, it's it's perfectly oh, legitimate oh, oh. to stand on the edge of the hole and push the door open with the yeah. pole. Yeah, that sounds that sounds legitimate. Cool. So the door opens up. Uh, yeah. Pit Whoa. trap drops. Um, I'm gonna look down in the pit trap. It looks like it's about and... sixty foot down. We're at twelve. <laughs> He found a trap, and it's nice. a pit in front of the door. As soon as the door opens, the pit opens. But That's he found snap. the detect the trap. So, sixty foot fall down to a spiky death. And it looks like there's water down there too. Spiky water death. Spiky water death. What if that's the entrance into the dungeon? <laughs> Tim has the funky book. <laughs> Does it look like there's any uh, offshoots, cavernous offshoots? Um, down in the pit. What you guys can see, no. Looks like you just fall and die. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna spark up a torch, and toss it into the room, so we can see around in there. Okay. This is twelve. All right. As soon as you do it, um, you hear a squeal and you see some some fairly large rats kind of scatter. They come running out and fall in the pit. <laughs> I mean, the door. That's are... a good question. I'm gonna say that at least one does. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So Are one comes out, uh, the thing's about rats? three feet long and about uh, two feet wide. It's a very portly rat. Uh, That's a it falls and squeals and dies a horrible, st stabby, wet death. Sounds like there's plenty more in that room. Um, uh, how about everybody roll a d6? Uh, one, one or two. Two for dummies. Two. So you're going to one. Uh, you think that there are probably about eight of them. Sleep? Or <laughs> there's already a torch in there. If you want to use sleep, we can. I mean, there's already right. a torch. We well, the room is fairly large. I think I gave you guys better than a day. It's 40. it's 40 by 40, okay. so you're probably not going to be able to burn them and probably just stay away from the flames. Okay. Unless you can actually hit them. They seem like they have scattered to the corners and you don't see them as of this moment. So you can't stand them outside the doorway. And okay, them given that, do I think I can hit them all with the sleep spell? What's the, what's the range of the sleep spell? Uh, 240 feet. What, that poison dagger? Uh, okay, what, does it say anything in the description itself? Because sometimes they don't always get you, like, the radius or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't give a radius or anything. Just it might be 240 just a feet and number of hit dice, yeah. Well, just, uh, if you want to cast it, we'll just do the number of hit dice thing then. As to how many fall? Yeah. Alright. Because it's one contained room, so yeah. that makes sense. Pimple pulls out that poison dagger, ready to throw it at one? Alright, okay. I will cast my sleep spell. <laughs> Second spell of the Okay, Woo boom! And uh, go ahead and roll your hit dice. Uh, 2d8. So that's how many will fall. How many two. will fall? How many hit dice will fall? They're, they're eight, eight hit, ten, hit dice. Ten hit dice. Ten hit dice. 
<laughs> Assuming they're less than four plus one. Okay. Um, smoke is off. You don't see anything fall because you don't see anything. Do you hear them? Give me that torch in there. Uh, give me another roll. Uh, the torch is in there already. So. A one. I got two. Simple got a two. You can hear at least two. Ooh. Two squeaky noises. Got a one as well. There's, you sound like there's, it sounds like there's two rats that uh, didn't fall asleep. Are you with the torch in there? We can't see them. See? Um, well, you have a pit trap in front of the door, so We're it's a little trick. Yeah. Feet back. How yeah. far is the how how big is the trap? It's like a ten foot wide, like half semicircle sort of thing. Ten feet. Ten feet. So you'd have to jump ten feet to get in the room. Oh my god! Does anybody have a ladder? I think so. You do have a pole. You can yeah. Try to jump in there, just don't fail on your dex check. <laughs> so, I mean, you got you to uh, square. So there's a door, the like the door is like here. Ten foot pole. And then there's Does like a ten foot and a half like spell. <laughs> Action. How, how big is the open? Ten by ten. I learned. Yeah. And the door is like five feet wide. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah something like that. Yeah. All right, simple. We'll go over here and lay this pole. Into the door. See how I'm doing that? Okay, so close to the, the wall. Close to the wall, so he'll kind of like lean against and, the. And use his use the wall. All right. Good. And uh, Targ will hold the, the end of the pole that's on the okay. ground, so That'll it doesn't help. roll out from underneath him. So give your decks a plus two bonus and roll underneath it. Since he's holding it, it's close to the wall. That sounds good to me. Made it by fifteen. Okay, so you you shimmy across the pole and get right in there. Not any problem. There are uh, like four sleeping rats, and uh, there are two that are up and moving. Oh, so you want to throw? Okay. Uh, give me throw. Poison. I need that poison. Anybody else trying to shimmy in? Or yeah, Cyril's Cyril go for it. So um, Target's going to continue to hold the pole. Okay. So I'll give you a plus two to Dex and roll under. AC nine. Roll to one. Okay. I do a cartwheel across the ten foot pole. Nine. Mm-hmm. Oh, your your dagger goes flying past it. Six in the wall. Okay, so you shimmy in. He throws a one and misses. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to pull the bow out. <coughs> okay. Grunk is getting pissed off. I ain't missing out on any of that. I hope somebody hold that pull. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I missed too. Okay. Does anybody else want to shimmy, 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 shake? Grunk is. Grunk is. Dex plus two. Mm-hmm. I need a 19 or that. Eight by nine. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it'd, be bad, it'd be bad if you don't make it. Anybody <laughs> else want to try this? All right, so who, uh, <laughs> he's in the room now? Simple and grunker. Does he want to do anything? Right now the rats are staying back. Uh, they seem like they're actually trying to dig their way out of the room or dig Die, down. <laughs> Getting up an attack? Scimitar. Grunker? It's going to be... <laughs> he calls himself Grunker. AC5. Uh, that will hit. This is the uh, Okay. Seven. Seven points of damage. Okay, that will kill one. Uh, so there's one left. Uh, anybody else going in, doing anything? <laughs> the, uh, the rat stops digging and it sort of sits down and does this. Kind of looks up at you with its eyes. It's just laying on the ground, like looking up at it. It, it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't move to respond to commands or. <clears throat> no, it doesn't move to the left. Doesn't okay. dance. Doesn't do it. Spin. Arrow notch. I'll just start walking towards it. Does it okay. look like it's getting ready to pounce, or does it look like it's like? It kind of looks like you know how a cat lays down. It kind of looks like it's doing that. Like it's laying. It's laying down, looking at you. It looks. It looks scared. Looks scared. Looks scared. Oh. Chasing that with a. <laughs> are you going to chase, chase it around the room? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Pick up the torch. anybody have any kind of spell they can talk to animals with? Okay. Yeah. I don't think anybody does. Is that something you could get? <laughs> Clear? Um, Speak of animals? That's a good question. I'm not sure about that. See. Answer. When I make fifth level <laughs> in about two years. Speak with animals. Level two. 
But what is that? What spell is that? Though? It doesn't say what level. I mean, what spell it is. What? If it's level two, then. I mean, it, is it a clerical or? That's what I'm trying to think of. It's cleric. Level it? two cleric spell. Yeah, I don't think you can cast level two for a while, right? Yeah, you could save it forever. Save the rat. Trap it in an emerald. It's a rat emerald. Pull out Cracker Jacks. Shit, that's a rat. Where's the treasure? It's just giving up. It's just a rat laying down. If you yell at it, it'll move closer to the wall. Oh, right. You have a personality, you never know. Stinky, do you have any kind of empathy with it? Like uh, telepathy or anything? Stinky will jump off your shoulder and wow. uh, start slashing it to pieces. He <laughs> 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 uh, rips the rat up and he'll start sniffing blood through his nose. Again. <laughs> hey, Stinky, how does that taste compared to the dragon blood? Nah, it checks his head to left right. Was better, huh? <laughs> that was some good shit. <laughs> crazy, man, so when does this stuff change the 1d20 to hit? Uh, at change? different levels. Yeah. Depending yeah. on the table. Kind of yeah. Where is the table? Uh, 50, the 50, 55 or 60? It's at the end of combat. 55 yeah. or 60. One saves and one's combat. Alright. So that does increase. It is 60. Those are your saves, Nick Page? Um, Keep going. 60.